welcome back to our channel today we're going to be showing you how to make this beautiful rosette cake um, if you'd like to learn how to make this please keep on watching yo what's up guys we're back I'm going to show you guys how to make a rosette cake but first I'm going to show you guys how to make banana filling as well so so we're going to make a 12 inch and I'm going to need two bananas Smash them real good. It's gonna look like a puree. Okay. And then you're gonna add some cinnamon. Just enough to make it brown. Bang, there you go. Banana filling. So now we're gonna cut the cake, the top of it, so it can be flat. I'm sure you guys already know if you've seen the other videos. So this thing that you buy at Walmart, it only goes up to 12 inches, so only a 12 inch fits between this. See that? And it barely fits, so. If you're gonna cut a 14 inch, you're gonna need like a, a serrated knife or a bigger one of these. So for this one, we're gonna make strawberry strawberry cake with the uh, banana filling. Yup. You always wanna center the, the cake, center, always. Unless you wanna put like um, something else in the front. And you can do that, but it's gonna be hard for you to to put it on the turntable, you know? So it could be centered. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll show you guys an example right now. Try and level it out, like so that way it could be straight. See that? All right, so what I'm talking about right now, I meant like if the cake was more this way, and it was like this, the, see how that is? Like mm -hmm. you wanna smooth it, it's gonna be so hard because it's like, you're gonna have to keep on moving your hand back and forth and back and forth like this. So you always wanna have the cake this. Check it out. Yeah. Mm. It's not going anywhere, but too poppy. What? All right, so you give it another little layer of buttercream so that the, the filling won't get out. Oh my God, this smells so good. The filling that you made, what yeah. filling is it? It's banana. God. So look at this. God, this cake's not gonna make it. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. This cake's not gonna make it to the customer. <laughs> oh, it looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at your bread, it's like so 
It's really, really moist. Beautiful. And then after that, you just like kind of like take off the excess. When you see crumbs falling down like that, that means your cake is super, super moist. That it's like crumbing, you know? There it is, like that. Check that out. Nice. Put it in the freezer for another 10 minutes. Perfect. All right, so I have a 2D. A 2D's nuts. Ah! Got it! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> now, I have a 2D tip. <laughs> <laughs> This is for the rosette, so I'm gonna put some buttercream in here so that we can go like. Feed a man? Or feed a man. You got that shit or what? Big home? Oh, fuck, I wasn't recording. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna put some buttercream in here. Chicken, el tato. Got it. Cool. Usually when I when I do rosettes, I cover the whole thing in buttercream first, like with just a thin layer, but since the person wants it already, they want to come and pick it up early, I'm just going to do it like this. You could do it with either, uh, either way, but check it out. Bang, you see that? Bang. All right, so you always want to put it in between. You see how I started here? And then I put it in between, and then I put it in between again. You get me? You always want to put it in between, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's already looking really fancy, guys. I feel like if you start it too much, it's kind of like a weird technique. But once you see it all together, it's like, uh, so pretty. If you guys haven't seen our video where we do the bird box challenge, this was what I was attempting to do. <laughs> this is the only kind of cake I know how to make is a rosette cake. Según tu pues. Según yo pues. That looks so nice, you guys. I'm not sure if you guys can. Also, I know some people prefer the like um, tripod recording it, but we're really in a hurry, so we have to do it like whatever way works fastest, right? Yeah. All right, so I ran out of buttercream. What do I do? What do I do? Oh my God, I ran out of buttercream. So you, you fill it up again. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I'm like, what is he gonna say? <laughs> I'm a G-Sucker like Freak. Come on. All right, I'm gonna do the top now. So you wanna start where you, where the back is. So mm -hmm. this, this is the back. So you wanna hit it from the back right here. You're so disgusting, I can't. Let's show you guys this topper that we got made. See that? Yeah. Nice. We'll leave her info down below if you want to order a topper and you're around. All right, guys. So the cake that the customer wanted requires for us to use 
gum paste or I don't know if this is gum paste fondant flowers um, you can obviously make your own but we're short on time so we're gonna use these ones that we bought so a big flower like this will cost Four. there you go $12.99 and so we got two of those and then you got that little three pack right there okay $16.99 so um, keep in mind. <laughs> um, keep keep in mind that we have that membership with Cakewalk, so everything that we sell, we cut it in half, fifty percent off. Um, so a lot of the times, also with cakes like these, you can offer artificial flowers. Those look really nice too. Um, but just it depends on where you get them. Obviously, the good ones are at Hobby Lobby or in our downtown LA, and those look like real. So you could do that. But in this case, they wanted gum paste because they wanted to do rose gold flowers. So we're about to paint them ourselves to customize them. And our rose gold is a little bit more copper color. Yeah. It still looks real nice though, you know? All right, so I'm gonna start painting this. Check it out. So all you do is just pretty much put some alcohol in there and then, you know, look at the consistency. If you guys don't see it. Oh, look at that. You want to make sure you get everything. And you guys, I just want to let you guys know that the videos, um, we make them like from cakes that we're really going to sell in like real order. So sometimes they're not the best videos or the best quality because we honestly are in a hurry. We're not, like we have to like, we have deadlines to meet, you know? Yeah. It's not just for YouTube or for yeah. fun. Nice. Cool. So we're going to paint all three of these. Okay. And that's it guys, super simple, super beautiful, super easy. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to our channel, we're almost to a thousand followers! Also, please comment down below your thoughts, feelings, um, whatever. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a great day. Yeah. Bye.